she was last seen walking out of the apartment and uh, the next thing we know she's found in the garbage. After a night out on the town, Ashley Brown stepped outside a friend's apartment and that was the last time she was seen alive. She stepped outside to smoke a cigarette and, you know, and, and the wrong person came around. Investigators say one would assume it was a possible robbery or sexual assault, but they still don't have a motive. They do know Brown's death was brutal. An autopsy report shows she was killed by multiple blunt force injuries and strangulation. Police believe then her body tossed inside of the garbage here near the condos and later a garbage truck with a trash compactor picking it up. There were several injuries. Uh, some of them were prior to her death, and then there were also some injuries that were caused by the uh, garbage compactor along with the garbage truck and, and other heavy equipment used to uh, move the garbage around. The news leaving a number of questions for Ashley's family, who live more than a 1,000 miles away in Tucson. With everything that happened to her, it's hard to except the fact that nobody heard anything. Somebody had to have heard something. While it's been over a year since that cold December morning, the heartache doesn't get any easier. It's hard to smile through the pain. You can say our lives have forever been changed and altered. Today, both family and detectives worry that someone so cold hearted is still on the streets. Our biggest thing is we just don't want them to think, hey, I did it before, I can do it again. It's definitely troubling that you have somebody that's that cold blooded that would just, you know, randomly pick a person and, you know, and, and beat them to death and then, and then throw them in the garbage. If they're willing to do it this one time, you know, that's very likely they're willing to do it again. So, it, you know, it's, it's a little unsettling knowing that a person like that is out there.